to 50 meanwhile on the Peregrine Falcon. Meanwhile, Hermongus had spent an anxious half hour down, um, down on the Perican Falcon, sh shading his hands over his eyes and trying to spot the progress of the three young Vikings as they slowly climbed the volcano mountain. What he discovered was that it was far more tense watching somebody else performing a quest than it was doing one oneself. He felt quite sick with nerves. Most of the time he was talking to himself as he peered upward, trying to convince himself he was doing the right thing. Now, I was right not to tell Hiccup that terrific Al wanted that stone too, wasn't I? And nobody could expect me to go with them, could they? After 15 years of slavery on this very island, I mean, but I guess nobody else is going to do it. But for Thor's sake, Humongous slung his bow and arrows around his shoulder. A guy should get to retire sometime, shouldn't he? Up now, White Dragon. I mean, why is it always me who has to be the hero? It's not my fight, complained Humongous, taking his foot out of the stirrup again. He turned his face to the heavens and howled up to the uncaring sky, shaking his fist in frustration. Oh, my camera's wobbling a bit. Sorry. What shall I do? I as if in answer to his question, out of the clear blue sky, down swooped an exhausted little toothless and dropped upon the deck a golden something, a something that rolled around the deck in ever discreet increasing circles and came to rest with a clatter. Humongous bent down and picked up the something. It was the golden dragon bracelet that he had twisted, that had twisted around Alvin's good arm. He knew it well, for he had made it for Alvin himself in the jail forges when he was supposed to be making swords as a thank you after Alvin agreed to take the ruby heartstone to Valhalla Rama many, many years ago. This was the first time in a long while that he had seen it close up. And as he picked it up, he thought, that's funny, there's something in the dragon's eye. I didn't put that there when I made it. And as he held it closer, a blast of lightning lit up the sky and the flash of light caught the bracelet and the dragon's eye winked at him. One small, sly red wink as if it were amused. The dragon's eye was his ruby heartstone. In that single moment, the truth rushed upon Humongous all at once. She had loved him. She had never got the message. Terrific Owl had never given it to her. He had kept the ruby heartstone. He had even had the cheek to fit it into the bracelet that Humongous had made him, which he had then been wearing right under Humongous's nose the whole time, which made him a whole lot less terrific than Humongous had thought. Maybe it even made him into the treacherous villain that Hiccup had been describing. And perhaps throwing him to the shark rooms was a thoroughly good idea. And what a shame they'd only taken his leg and hadn't got rid of him completely. 15 year old memory had popped into his head. It was a memory of his love, handing him the, that very stone so very many years ago with these words, when you hold this stone, you hold my heart. But if you find yourself captured or in trouble, send me this stone in the mouth of your hunting dragon and I will come and rescue you. Humongous gave a half life high cry as he looked first at the cart stone and then down at Toothless, collapsed on the deck in exhaustion. Isn't fate artistic? all this meant was that Hiccup was in trouble up there on the mountain, that Hiccup had never in his life been more in need of his bodyguard. Humongously hot shot the hero, pulled on the bracelet onto his own left arm. He leapt onto the back of his white dragon, drawing his sword and shouting, come on, Windwalker, Hiccup needs us. This is our fight to the volcano. Oh, brother, moaned Toothless, sprawled on the deck. We aren't going up again, are we? The Windwalker, who was also frightened, he swallowed hard and picked Toothless up in its mouth and took up in the uh, 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 up uh, into the volcano after Humongous Lot shot the hero. Wasn't that lovely? Next chapter to